In this video, we are going to be saving this garbage fly trap, so make sure you stick around until the end to see how it looks once we've saved it. So let me tell you how we actually got to have one of these garbage looking things anyway. Three years ago, I bought these four very, very nice Saracenia to take with me to Australia, but of course that never ended up happening. So they slowly started to decline, and now that we're back, what we're going to do, we're going to unpot them all, check if there's any life in them, and if there is, save them so if you want to join along in figuring out what species each one of these plants are make sure you subscribe to the channel let's get started all right guys well i'm not expecting any miracles here honestly i feel like they're all dead so we're gonna start with this guy my mom potted them up in uh, coke bottles or something so let's see no so we're gonna have to resort to the scissors okay i think that should be, be enough Let's peel it open. Oh, look at that, guys. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like fish. Oh, that's it. Wow. So, as you guys can see, we've got some peat and sand in here. This was some of that uh, pre-made sand that you kind of get on Amazon. I told my mom, yeah, that should be fine. But I didn't know it would be sand. I thought it was going to be... Um, perlite at least but yeah this is the result it ends up compacting the roots and then it can kill the plants pretty quickly so let us see I see the root structure here oh yeah well there is a rhizome isn't there so the real test is when you take the rhizome and you kind of pull some of the leaves off and if they you know come apart easy you know it's rotten um, and if not you know it's kind of alive so pulled one off there came off too easy yeah sadly guys I do not think that this plant is alive like I said I'm not surprised but I was kind of hoping let's see if we kind of cut into it yeah all rotten guys sadly if this was alive this would all be white inside and it sadly isn't. Oh well. On to the next. Now this one, that looks way rotten away. I can even see, just by pulling that, you guys can see how it just falls apart, guys. So, see if I can get this one out. You might have to use the scissors again. You guys can even see how the moss has grown on the sides because of the see-through plastic. This is a problem with see-through or white plastic for our plants, guys. Okay. This is the rhizome, which you guys saw is falling apart. Roots are breaking off so easy. Yeah. Nothing in that. Very sad. Oh well, can't change it now. On to this guy, which I think, you know, if any one of the three had any chance of survival, it was most likely this one. Let's get it out of here. There we go. Okay, the moss is doing well. Oh yeah. Oh, the piece of foam, which I put over the microphone to try and help with the sound just flopped off there, guys. Not that it actually does anything. Try to get it off. Well, if you guys hear more wind, you know why. Now these roots look slightly promising. Honestly, not, not uh, expecting it to be uh, like alive, but they're not falling apart like as I've touched them. I said that too soon. Nothing in this one, guys, sadly. Just like the rest, it just falls apart. But I mean, the roots aren't, aren't the worst. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much gone. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go rinse this off. Um, hopefully get a little bit of a better look. I have like a 5% idea that this might have something in it. So might as well rinse it off and then I'll bring you guys back and show you 
what it looks like when it's cleaner and then maybe we'll cut into it with the scissors and see that it isn't alive at all. I'm so excited. So good thing I washed this because I don't know if you guys can see that, but does that look green to you? Or am I just imagining things? It looks green to Karen also. This, this uh, rhizome, as I was taking it out, it felt solid. And um, that's why I thought, oh, let me just go wash it, you know, just in case. And it's, it's growing, it's alive. It looks, well, it, it looks alive. I thought maybe they went green because I watered them. So I took all the other roots I could find and I put them under water, they all stayed black. All the other rhizomes, they stayed hard. I mean, soft and they broke, but this one stayed hard. So I went, I took tweezers, I pulled all the all the old moss and rot off. So yeah, guys, we actually have another plant here. How cool is that, guys? So we have, we have two plants that we're gonna be rescuing. Hopefully this one survives, hopefully. We're gonna, we're gonna try our best, but now I have to get another pot and more soil. I'm, I'm not complaining, but wow, guys. Look at those little green roots. I'm so excited. Okay. We put this one here and let's get the next one out. I don't know what species these are. I don't care too much for the, um, the Saracenia minor, um, but the other three, you know, I'm really hoping it's one of those other three. Oh, this one pongs, this stinks. Oh, this one reeks. Yeah, this one stinks, guys. Oh, it smells like rotten eggs and stuff. So this soil is definitely anaerobic. This is the healthiest one. So I'm trying to do this without damaging them, as you can imagine. So we have some nice grass in here, which might have contributed to um, the Saracenia not passing away. Companion plants and all that. So you guys can see the slime on the side. This is why, this is why I was trying to explain it using see-through um, pots and whatnot is not good. Oh, guys, I cannot explain how excited I am for that guy. So look at the soil, soil regions. You can see the top is darker. In the middle, it's more light. You guys tell me what that means. I'm so excited. I'm trying to not rush, as you can imagine. Gently tease this one apart. So what I will do with this one also, guys, look, you see how these roots are green too? So it mean, it definitely means that that one over here um, is definitely uh, doing uh, growing because this one's green. So that one's green and this one's growing. So yeah, I'm going to go inside. I will wash this one so we don't damage these roots. Like one root already uh, broke off over here, sadly. And then um, I'll show you what we've got next for the potting and all that. I'm so excited, guys. I'm very excited that this one's actually growing. The roots are green, like I showed you. And this one also, like, look at the roots. The roots look the same. So if one's growing, you know, hopefully the other one's also growing. So if we've mixed up some soil. I've got some pots and we have some sphagnum moss down here. It finally arrived in the mail because using sphagnum moss is way better than kitchen tile for the bottom of the pot like we did for the tubers. And I'm going to try pot this one up a little bit closer to the surface just so that it can get some more light and hopefully start growing a little bit so yeah let's get started i'm so excited now what i'm going to do here i'm going to water this one from the top so we can ensure that we get some soil movement in between and around those roots and so guys that is that one potted up you guys can just barely see growth point there don't forget if you want to join along on this guy's adventure like let alone that one do make sure you subscribe to the channel guys because that is just incredible i cannot believe that honestly i'm so excited let me get started with the next one before my fingers fall off this little guy is looking so happy right now he has three or four traps coming out and the other one is on his way back from the gulag but I still don't really know what species it might be. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. However, I have some very exciting news for you guys. Two weeks ago, we found a garden center that sells a lot of carnivorous plants, which means that we ended up buying 
a lot of plants too. So in the next video, I'm gonna be taking you guys on this little adventure of finding this place and showing you all the plants that we ended up buying. And I am so excited to share this with you guys. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.